among our colleagues, we see a lot of racism, behavior, attitude, threatening. You're in the taxi, the guy turns around and he says, it's all very fine except for those black fellas. And you wonder what to say. So, uh, yeah, I saw that film there the other day, uh, When We Were Kings, you know, with Muhammad Ali. Ah, uh, Muhammad Ali, great fighter. In general, though, I wouldn't have much respect for the blacks, you know. My recommendation when that happens the next time, well, think of something that would really shock him. In general, though, I wouldn't have much respect for the blacks. Yeah, would you not? No. You think that's bad? I fuck children. What? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, don't get me wrong. They're black children. Oh, that's all right, so. The influx of foreign nationals into the taxi trade has resulted in the so-called taxi wars between the Irish and non-Irish taxi drivers. Yep. We're brought up with, with, with these films of cowboys and Indians. The Indian's always the bad man. The black man's always the bad man. This, that and the other. And we're always brought up on this. And then all of a sudden, Mary Robinson lights a blade and candle in a window. And all of a sudden, there's an influx of fucking black people all over, and we're supposed to be politically correct straight away. Unfortunately, Irish taxi drivers' racism is not only directed at their foreign colleagues. Ah, uh, here, would you look at that? That is a disgrace, I'm sorry. No. In 21st century Ireland. I mean, they treat their women worse than dogs. There should be a law against that. Here, here pull the curtains, love, and give us a go. Yeah, wait a long face. Go back to one Arabia. She must be suffocating in there, poor love, you know? Yeah, two one 